Since summer of 2013, trucks have been hauling dirt, rock, and heavy equipment in and out of Newburgh and Dundee as construction of the Newburgh-Dundee bypass is well underway. While there is much work left to do, the project is making progress and moving forward. Phase one of the bypass includes a brand new roadway that will extend for about four miles between Oregon 219 in Newburgh and Oregon 99W just south of Dundee and will include one lane in each direction and new signalized intersections at both ends. As you can imagine, this is a large and complicated project. In Dundee, the bypass will connect to Oregon 99W. A large bridge will be built that crosses over the railroad and highway at this location. Let's show you what has been accomplished so far. Here, you can see the areas that have already been cleared for the roadway. At the Dundee end, half a million lineal feet of wick drains were installed to draw water from underground and heavy gravel has been added to speed up natural settling to ensure bridges are built on compact ground. The first bridge for the project will be complete by spring of 2014. In January, seven 155-foot-long beams were hauled into Dundee. Crews used two large cranes to set the seven beams in place, one by one, over two days. Ten bridges will be built as part of Phase 1. This first bridge is approximately 200 feet long and crosses over a small creek. Traveling east towards Newburgh, we cross many acres of property that ODOT has purchased for the bypass. In Newburgh, the bypass will skirt the southern edge of town on a 2,200-foot-long bridge crossing over the railroad tracks and College and River Streets. The bypass will be tucked between 11th Street and the paper mill. Looking toward where the bypass will connect to Oregon 219, neighbors have seen a lot of change. The area between Wynuski and Oregon 219 has been excavated down to allow for the flight path for the neighboring airfield. A few large stormwater ponds, some up to 35 feet deep, have also been excavated. Runoff from the roadway will be directed to the ponds for filtration that will prevent harmful pollution from getting into our streams and creeks. A small tributary of Hess Creek has been placed into a new 300-foot-long culvert. Great care has been taken to protect fish during the reconfiguration of their habitat. There is much work left to do before Phase 1 is complete. We appreciate the patience of neighbors and the traveling public as work continues. For more information on construction of the first phase of the bypass, or planning for the full bypass, please visit our website at newburgdundee.org.